Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, where we learn I have no idea what day it is. Today, we install MO2 and its requirements, set it up for our first game, and link it to Nexus Mods. Links for everything I mentioned are provided. Let's do it. You need at least one game properly installed and launched at least one time so MO2 can find it. Visual C++ Redistributable 2019 Install version x64 If you already have it installed, you'll be asked if you want to repair it. Do so for peace of mind. Now for MO2, select the provided link. From the download page, select the installer. When it's downloaded, launch it. Agree to the pop-ups. At the location window, select any destination you like. No game directory. No program files. At the components window, select next. Choose what you like at the start menu. Create a desktop shortcut. Install MO2. Then launch it to establish its registries. MO2 is installed. Now to set it up for our first game. Mod Organizer will now either detect a game and open for it, or allow you to create a new instance. This is the same thing that happens when selecting File, Change Game. Create a new instance. Choose the game you want MO2 to manage from the drop-down menu. Select OK. You can do this for as many games that are supported and manage them all right from here. By default, MO2 uses app data for storage. Files such as crash dumps, logs, and mod organizers any file will always remain here whether you want them to or not. You are welcome to leave everything here and skip to the next section of the video. But I like to organize my working folders differently. Whatever you choose to do, once you start installing mods, do not change these locations. Consider them set in stone. To change locations, open Settings, and then the Path tab. Select the ellipsis to the right of base directory and choose a home for this game's mod files. All of the directories below automatically move with the base directory. That's what this tag does. You can move these individually if you like, and I'll tell you why I do so for two of them. Mods. This is where the actual mod files used by the game are stored. I create a folder for this on the game drive to assure the fastest possible read speeds. Overwrite is where MO2 stores newly generated files by apps run through MO. I put this with the mods directory, as it acts just like one. The rest, I leave alone. Now, we are going to link Mod Organizer to Nexus so we can download mods directly to it. Open Settings, and then the Nexus tab. Click on Connect to Nexus. You'll be brought to Nexus where you then need to authorize MO2 you'll be asked to restart the app. Do so. Then go back to the Nexus tab. Click Associate with Download with Manager links. Select OK. From the toolbar, select the Nexus link. Now download any mod that you want just to test that things are working. It doesn't matter what mod. We aren't even going to install it. Connecting this way should allow Mod Organizer to register with Nexus. Agree to any pop-ups. The mod you downloaded is in the Downloads tab. You can right-click and delete it, or double-click and install it. And now for a few final tips. If you are ever asked to associate MO with NXM links, do so. If you are ever asked to allow NXM Handler to use a link, do so. Going forward, you will set up, manage new games, and switch between them just how we set up the first one in this video. And finally, if MO2 isn't working correctly, check your antivirus to see if it's blocking it. Yeah, that old chestnut. If I've helped you, and you want to and can return the favor, a Patreon link is provided for you to join these heroes of mine on screen. You are gamer poets. I'm just Michael. See you next time. Mm -hmm.